One, two, three. Beetroot. <laughs> I mean reboot. <laughs> Been saving that one, haven't you, lads? Now this, I think, also must be from the later series because these are actually all characters. So mm -hmm. if you watch Reboot, you'll have known that there are binomes who are like the citizens of Mainframe. Mm -hmm. They're really small and very slow. They're quite far away. There's always like this. This guy is a character called Cyrus. He's a douchebag. But he's, he's a named character and he's important. Mm -hmm. And becomes much more important in like the second series and the third series. Cyrus because the virus. No, that's, that's the wrong Cyrus. Because yeah. you're, well, you might be called Cyrus the virus in this, but Cyrus the virus was from um, Con Air. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, a, oh, yeah. that's John Malkovich's role in Con Air. It's kind of like Cyrus the virus enabler. I guess. Yeah, he does work with viruses. Like yeah. Cyrus the virus <laughs> supporter. Yeah. Cyrus the virus sympathizer. I don't know. Cyrus the virus sympathizer, I think that works, yeah. Well, so yeah th these are all binomes, the citizens of of um, Mainframe. And in the first season, there's like a couple of individual ones. Yeah. But they're all the same templates. So uh, we only have the um, the one shaped ones yeah sense. so they, they represent ones and zeros like in binary code so there's these tall ones that are like ones and there's like fat round ones that are like zeros yeah and it's that simple <laughs> and i don't know if there are any of the zero toys they yes there are um but i've never seen one in the wild um they made two sets of binomes there's this one that was the character ones yeah and then they had another set which was like the generic ones, I think. Okay, yeah. So they had like a female one, a male one, and a male and female zero mm. each, I think. But they weren't like characters like these ones. Yeah. Now, so, yeah, we've got Cyrus there. Specky, I want to say. <sighs> yeah, I can't remember. Is that what they called him? I remember it being pretty. Uh... He's a good guy, by now. He uh, helped out in commandcup.com. Yeah. And yeah, he was. I'm sure it's something like Specky or. Glassy or yeah, goggles or something. Yeah, and, and he's kind of, he's sort of he's sort of naff, but he's a good guy and he helps out. He wears glasses. Huh? Yeah, um, <laughs> this guy was just like um, I think this was just a one-off character, wasn't it? In one he's, episode, he's in a game, I think. Yeah, as like this prospector, and he the joke is he talks like a like a like a prospector. He's, he's like, shooting Jimmy. There's yeah. that that old raccoon coming over here. Yeah. And then the joke is when the game finishes, he's actually like a, a businessman or something. He's like, <laughs> he's like oh, for sure, Dad. I go that good. The quality of these figures is what makes them. So yeah. like, the fact that he isn't like a main character is not a problem because yeah. because they've got him bang on. It's really good. This guy, I can't remember this guy's name. He's like a major, or he's some sort of officer in uh, Meg Megabyte's virus army. Yeah, he's, he's army. been corrupted, doesn't he? Because that's how you, how you know they've gone purple and yellow and they're corrupted. Yeah. Um, and, and yes, yeah, so he's like a colonel, and he's kind of interesting. He's got a little moustache. Annoyingly, he used to have a little writhing crop, but I lost it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was looking like it looked like there used to be a one here. Yeah, that's, he's supposed to hold his riding crop, crop, and I don't know what the hell happened. But it must have been tiny. It was. Like, I'm looking at this, yeah, so like, like that, that's a super easily lost. I mean, like, most of these accessories are removable as well. Like. Yeah, like the hats come off. And I've just noticed as well that they, well, this one at least, they sort of turn in segments. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly how they turn in the show. They're made up of little blocks. But they even. On the packet, when I've got these, they they sold it on the, the basis that you can. Oh, you can pop them apart. Oh my fucking god! But you can mix match them if you if you're so inclined, so you can mix them up and make like your own little. Oh, scram! <laughs> yeah. No, that's that, that that that's pretty intense. Like. I I didn't actually realise that I haven't played, you know, like I've seen these figures, I've looked at them a lot, but I've never played with them. It's quite uh, nifty, isn't it? Like, so, yeah. So there's your own little mutant. <laughs> I mean, in fact, now that I think of it, 
tell a lie the other set i don't think i think it did have a character in it because i'm sure that the um the, you know the the zombie binome guy oh yeah. yes the sort of eagle yeah, yeah yeah i'm sure he's in the other one you know because i'm sure there's one with like a leg coming out the middle bit because <laughs> you know, he's like a mutant yeah ah <laughs> Yeah, I'm so impressed with these. They're really good. I'm on the phone so I'm, 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 to the point where I've messed them all up now. I've got to find the right place. Well, that's, that's the part of the phone, isn't it? It's a jigsaw. And yeah, they are super, super cool. Um, yeah, and the fact that they're actual characters is really nice and sad that they are of a better quality than a lot of the main character figures. Yeah, um, I said that. It's kind of like a shame that like these are so good and like, you know... The original Bob is just a bit. <laughs> he's, he's, the original Bob sucks. It's just like comparatively, like, it's like... yeah, like, like the the painting's no good, not as good. Sorry, yeah. the modelling is nowhere near. Good. I mean, the painting on these is fucking grand. It really makes these. But like, the moulding is excellent as well. Like I say, we'll get the handy cam, but we'll put the prospect. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like the amount of stuff in it. I mean, there was like Evil Dead references in it. And then, it's on the the X Files one as well. The X Files, yeah. They actually had Gillian Anderson <laughs> somehow <laughs> in it. <laughs> She's crazy. She says it like. I'm sure it's because she was going out with like the director or something <laughs> at the time. Like I'm sure I read that somewhere. Because like they're both in, was it this Agent Fox modem. Fax and, modem. Fax modem, sorry. And Data Nully. CGI Special Agent Fax modem. CGI Special Agent Data Nully. We couldn't help overhearing you. You're looking for a missing person? Data Nully. <laughs> and Data Nully is played by Gillian Anderson. I think that, that has covered the reboot. Our little reboot adventure, but yeah. Extravaganza. The, is, I can't this isn't even all of them, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we ever want to go back to reboot, there's still command.com we could look at. Yeah, still, um, we've held back. We've got Megabyte something. and Hexadecimal. Yeah. Hexadecimal, man. Cyrus here at 